Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is another episode. I think it's like six or something. Yeah, anyway, small beginnings. So I was gonna start this episode by like kind of crafting these uh you know these kind of instruments to set up for the buffaloes. But it pro I like I was trying to do some research on it and it seemed really difficult and I thought I would just get it done before. So I finally figured it out. It took me a little bit to the I mean I'll just give you a little rundown. So to do the buffalo ceremony, you just shift click and then shift click this and then you just start playing things and hitting the drums. And then you get that top bar to full. You switch to the rattle about halfway through. And it's just like that, it's done. So we would need cow cows around this, this totem. And that's how it would be done. To get this totem, all you have to do is put a stump down and cut it. So let's uh, let's just do that real quick to show you guys. So we'll just get rid of this one. It'll destroy itself. Yeah. Okay. So we can just put it down like this, and then you grab your totem whittling base. Get that. It's just like that. Another thing: this totem pedia very useful. This will tell you all the ceremonies and the buffalo dance. It just tells you to press, so shift left click this, shift left click this, and then it starts, right? But once you do that, it doesn't matter what instruments you use, as long as you get the bar to full, okay? So I'm gonna go find some cows and I'll bring you guys back in a sec, okay? Cool. All right, so we are back. I have just picked these cows from over wherever. Um, we're just gonna get them into position. Come on, dude. There we go. Mainly wanted to get this out of the way first, just so if anybody is actually struggling with this, because I struggled, but like if anybody needs to like, I don't know, a quick video to figure out how to do this, I, w I want it to be this one. I want it to be quick and fast. So what we do, we put them here like this, hopefully they don't move around. Shift left click, shift left click, and we get the flute out, and we just keep hitting these drums. I was finding that I couldn't achieve the song without these two drums, so because they have a global cooldown, so get the rattle out, and I think we're about to do it, guys. Oh, oh, okay, just like that. I th there they are. They seem kind of small. Maybe they're um babies. I don't know. So yeah, that's how you get the buffalo for us. The Sev Tech Ages mod pack. Again, it is a not again, but like just in general, it is Sev Tech. The quest I'm kind of focusing on, how to um get this. So yeah, mainly just I would recommend looking at this book. The uh, the way you do it is you sh shift left click, shift left click to start the song, and then making sure you have this totem is big. It doesn't in the quest it doesn't tell you to get the book. I mean the totem, which is kind of annoying because you know the quest says get the the rattle and the flute and the drum. But you need the wind chime and you need this or so little bit of a I don't know kind of design flaw there, but it's it's whatever at the end of the day. So I think now I have to kill these buffalo for the uh, gears. But I almost want to just um yeah so I can breed them for sure. Kind of want to set up a pen. So let's just I don't even know do we. Are we allowed to have walls? Let's Google it. Walls. Um, yeah, yeah, we are. We're allowed to have the cobblestone walls. What about the fences? They look a bit nicer. No fences allowed. Okay. That's fine. We'll probably just use some cobblestone walls. So let's just go farm some up. We can actually just go over here to our cave and um just keep on mining. Probably need about, I don't know. It takes six to make six. Uh, what is this? Probably need about like I don't know, twelve or something. Won't need that much because it's just kind of like a pen, and I won't actually have to get in the pen. And if I do, I'll probably just use my horse and just go next to it. Kind of annoying because I wanted cobblestone. I haven't seen any ores for this one pack yet either, by the way, so hopefully we can see some if we just go down a little bit here. 
Uh, hit cobblestone again, please. I still haven't figured out how to make torches either, by the way. I might be missing something like really clear. You cobblestone? No, you're not cobblestone. What are you? I can't see a fucking thing. No, it's definitely not cobblestone. It is slate. Um, yeah, so we're gonna skip this up, and I'll bring you guys back when we, uh, start developing the fence. See you guys in a bit. So we found a little pen j just over here, and I think we're also gonna set up a sheep farm, because I'm running out of string a lot of the time. And bones, actually, too, so I need some kind of way to keep on getting it. And I think sheep are the way to do it. How big? One, two, three. One, two, three. It's right there. That's good. We're just gonna put you guys in there. And I've also noticed there's no doors for the actual. Where's the horse? Where's the horse? There's no doors for this actual um. Dude, what is it? <laughs> the mud pack. Sorry. <laughs> there's no doors for the mud pack. Like I googled door and. I don't know what this is. It doesn't tell me how to craft it, nothing. And I've also Googled like, I don't know. Wool. It's just those. What else is a name for a door? Opening. Entrance. Gate. Yeah, nothing. So, it really doesn't want you to play inside, I don't think. I want you to play outside, which I've been doing pretty well. Like, I've just been floating around using my TP. Come on, buddies. Oh. Kind of giants. Hopefully, that's big enough for them. Maybe I'll make it a bit bigger. I don't know how big they're gonna get if they are babies. So I don't want to place that. Fuck. Um, that'll be fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's fine. We'll go with that. Can you? Yeah, there you go. Okay, perfect. So there's that done, and we get sheep too. So I do want to try to breed these. My only other problem is that I don't exactly have the best amount of wheat. And I can actually go ahead and shear them right now. Just get the uh caution babies yet one day. Oh no, not good. Yeah, I always gotta use my horse for that. Okay, cool. So yeah, we'll start the sheep farm, keep breeding. Didn't I just share that thing? I feel like I just did oh yeah, grass. Okay, sir. So there's that done. What else did I want to achieve? It was something along the lines of... Hmm. Oh, sweet. That one's done again. That one's also done again. Why do these sheep like this so much? Goddamn. Whoa, what the... Fuck, dude. Where are you going? Hey. What? <laughs> you can't sleep in there, buddy. Yeah, look, can I? Yeah. Wait. Can I actually tie you to this? That'd be insane. I don't even eat horses. Stop eating. It's my food, dude. Hey. Get in. Give me that and get in. Thank you. Stupid baby. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that should be uh, pretty good. So, we got the buffalo next on the list. I don't know if that'll help with the strainer kind of thing. I haven't found any villages yet. It's been very torturous because I really want to learn farming. 
if I loan farming, I can um, plant wheat because the wheat is to breed the buffaloes and the sheep. So it's got a double like use. I might try out the plow, but I feel like it'd be kind of like cheating if I just used it. Not cheating, I feel like the game wouldn't let me do that because it would be kind of like cheating. I don't know if the game's going to let me get away with it. So what we're going to do is, what do, we, what do we need for it? We need the stone piece, that's why I'm doing this. And I need a cobble. Used up all my cobble making these kids, so. We'll just steal another piece from this hole I made. Okay. And... I'm gonna pretend I can use you. Let's get over all this shit in my fucking inventory, man. I'm so sick of that shit. Man, what else do I need? I need that. I need everything here. Yeah. I'll eat this. Any other food I can eat? I'll eat the raw mutton. And the carrots. Oh, it's done. Cool. Can I get my carrot bag, please? Thank you. Okay, I believe the recipe went like this, which sticks on top. Free, perfect. Crafting rock, plow. Alright, buddy. Time to give you a test. Please work. Oh my god, it does work. I did not expect it to work. That's awesome. Okay, um... Where should be my farm? I feel like it should be down here, but I should maybe excavate it a bit more. Yeah, a lot more. Yeah, this is... This is gonna take a while. So we'll probably just, um... Go into the wall like this. I don't know what this shit is. It's probably salt. Yeah, it's all. Yep. So I think what we'll do is we'll clear this out, we'll bring you guys back, and we can kind of have a look about the progress that I've made. So I'll see you guys in a sec. We'll center it out like that. Maybe send like a couple like that. Makes it kind of like look a little more rounded. Okay, yeah, that looks retarded, but it's fine, <laughs> it's fine. So yeah, we'll just bring our plow down now. I think we'll be planting a lot of everything and a lot of meat. Eat wheat, meat, eat. We put that down like this and then we just kind of run around like this. This is really cool, by the way. This is very cool. Oh boy, it's going to suck, suck to be annoying though. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh my god, that is very finicky. Oh, I went too far. Just these two. There we go. Perfect. Let's aim it into the corner here. Found it to use it just as a fucking ram. Okay, there's that one. Now this one. Let's get this corner here. Mm. Come on, dude. Get that little corner for me. Use these three and then we are done. Hopefully forever. Please and wow, I don't like it, I just Whatever, you know, we'll fix it later. It can't make it up really. It's adorable. Easy. 
I wouldn't need it for a little bit anyway. No need to place it. Actually, I'm just going to place it because my inventory. Alright, so let's grab some seeds. I probably do have some seeds. We'll grab some beetroot seeds. What other seeds we get? We look we got. Um, I want to plant some carrots too. We got tons of wheat. Carrot. Hemp. I don't know what it's for, so we're just going to plant it. I'm not seeing anything else really. I, actually, I did see some coffee seeds. We'll try to place these. Probably won't be able to. Because they're coffee. I don't think we grow coffee on. Oh, you do. Okay, cool. So put a hemp in the middle there. Shit, it's not giving me a seed. Hemp. Hemp. Industrial hemp seed? Oh, they have immersive engineering. Cool. Oh, okay. It's not really used for anything besides string. So we'll just... Canola? Can we place these? Yep, we can. Beetroot. Just fill that a little bit. I wish I had more um, wheat seeds. I didn't think that was it. But it's alright. Every time you cook something, cook something. Every time something grows, it'll expand. So put the carrots there. We will not put the carrots there. We'll put it back over here or something. Any other seeds that I have? Hmm. No. But now we can actually keep. I don't know. Uh, keep kind of like a storage of seeds, so we can put them here. Awesome. Really cool. So that'll solve the breeding problem that is bound to happen having 27 wheat only like that's total I've been preparing for wheat for a while so did you get them okay yeah I did oh you guys can breed awesome yeah ow no not cool ow ah shit ah shit okay where's the other one just wanna don't go Okay, I think that's it. <laughs> no. Okay, did I have a baby? I don't see it. Where is your baby? There it is, I see him. Right there. Awesome. So I'll probably read another one with them in about, I don't know, five minutes when it resets. And then we'll kill one of the ba the dads or whatever, and and the mom actually. We'll just kill them both, cause I don't know how many teeth you need. And I think with that, we should be able to get the gears. And I don't know what the millstone. It probably takes two gears or something. So it's be like that. Let's finish this quest. Summon the boss Baycock via a turtle ceremony and defeat him to acquire his power. I wish it told me what ceremony it was. That'd be way more helpful. Let's see if we can find it. What was his name? Should check that, huh? Baycock. I don't see it. No, I don't. Ice Spring is one of the many groups utility that will do turns of affecting all nearby enemies and so proceed to food. That's pretty cool. Red Sitter saplings. Okay. Rain Dance. Why, why would we need rain ever? Turn this for this. Follow you if you play the flute. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That could be really good for uh, bringing um, any things here. Yeah. But I don't see anything to do with what I'm looking for at all. Oh, well, here it is. Charms of Death. It's a ceremony that will summon a spirit known as Baycock. Do not attempt this unless the ceremony. You are well equipped for bat combat. It's an evil spirit who appears as a skeleton like figure who ruthlessly hunts warriors and is a monster of archery, attacking with invisible arrows. If you manage to defeat Baycock, you will be able to get his bow among other loots, and he is fired from Pay Boxer are visible only to the bold wielder. 
Envision this bow is stronger and has a higher enchantability than a mundane bow. Okay, that's cool. And that's just Eagle Bone Whistle, so I'm gonna have to get one of those, whatever that means. Yeah, anyway, guys, um, I think that's gonna wrap it up. Pretty solid episode. We actually got a lot done. We got the farm done, and we got the buffaloes and the sheep. So, um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.